friends, welcome to Insel Sujuji's the 80th episode in the Geography series. So today we are going to discuss about another country in the world and that country is the European country of Norway. Yes. So first, before everything, we do our tradition and that is to draw the country borders. Yes. So it is a pretty long country. Long means, yeah. Like Chile. Chile. Next, it will have a big bulge like this. It pretty much looks like a guitar. Tick, tick, tick. Okay. So next in the north, there are some regions. We'll put it like here. Yes, in a box. Show everything. Three regions. Okay. So this is the mainland Norway in Europe. Scandinavia to be specific. Next, there are the Svalbard Islands in the north. Even more north up here. And then there is the small island of Jan Mayen, west of, I mean east of Greenland, pretty far away from Greenland. And last and finally, there is another small island known as Bovet Island. But it is not uh, actually a part of Norway, it is a dependency of Norway, like a colony. Yes, but there is an actual other part of Norway which is actually claimed and that is Queen Maud Land, which is a part of Antarctica. It is in Southern Pole, yes, pretty much it is a part of Antarctica, yes, so yeah. This is the country of Norway which lies in both hemispheres, the Northern and Southern, yes. So now let's see the bordering, bordering countries of Norway. So first in the South, there is the very big wide land border with Sweden. Then there is the country known as Finland. Yes, and last and finally, there is this small border with a country known as Russia, the biggest country, yes. So it has practically three board country, I mean three bordering countries, yes. And meanwhile on the north, there is the North Atlantic Sea and some in this no more northern region, there is the Arctic Sea, yes. And even more south, there is Denmark and there is a strait between here, yes. It's not the Baltic Strait. The Baltic Strait is somewhere here. This is another strait. It has a pretty confusing name, so I can't name it here. Yes. Okay. So these are the bordering nations of Denmark. I mean, sorry, sorry. Norway. Yes. So yeah. Now let's go back. So now let's see the capital. Yes. The capital is the city of Oslo. Pretty much there. Yes. So it was the pretty much the historic capital of the country being the capital of the country since like the viking ages itself it was a very important city in all of the viking ages and then scandinavia itself yes so all of this is scandinavia one fun fact if you don't know about it okay so now let's go back into history once upon a time many countries here except finland were a type of people known as the vikings you may have heard of them yeah, many people have heard of them. Yes. So the Vikings were a very big group of pillagers who will just go to random people's land, fight them and take all of their loot and just come back into their lands. And they were also sometimes colonized, like when the Danish colonized all of the UK, <laughs> present day UK. Yes. So like that. So they did all of that. But for some time, Norway was just an independent nation. But later, the Danish Vikings came and took over the one and only Norwegian Vikings. Norway was, was not fully up to here, but just like up to here. Yes, not all of it. So then, from then onwards, Norway was a part of Denmark. It was like a colony. It's just a completely part. Yes. And then later onwards, Denmark started to expand here and started to take over the Svalbard and Jan Mayan Islands. Both islands were later taken into Norway after it was given independence. And then 1815, <coughs> sorry. So 1815, just the Napoleonic Wars have ended and the Congress was called in Austria. Yes, so the Congress of Vienna, okay. So this made many different border changes to Europe. And now, and because Dan Denmark was on the French side, it lost Norway. Norway was just pulled out of the region of Denmark and it was but still it was not independent. It was now a part of Sweden, known as the Kingdom of Sweden, Norway. 
it was pretty much a union now it also has walbard and yan mayen meanwhile other parts like if the faroe islands and greenland stuck with denmark yes and denmark still has them yes so and then finally like pre world war 2 i mean pre world war 1 in 1910s before the 1910s in the 20th century finally norway was just pushed out in 1905 and then finally since then it was an independent nation ever since then so now the king of Norway is Harald the 5th. Yes, it's a monarchy nation. So like some other monarchies include Sweden, Denmark, the UK, the Netherlands and Belgium in Europe. And there's still many other monarchies, but Norway is one of those many monarchies left. Still left. There are like less than 20 of them left in the whole world. Yes. Okay. So now let's go to some climate. So, yes, in geographies. Okay. So now climate so most of the southern region is pretty cold yes meanwhile here it's a bit more warmer more temperate but in these regions the summer is pretty warm as well as the here yes so geographically there's a big mountain range here mountain from the top to bottom so may, the most useful land is just here at the tip at the front at the like if we take it as a test tube it would be the main part of the test tube yes okay so this is where everything farmable is happening and farmable land is pretty low because it's very cold there yes meanwhile the remaining region is just mountains not useful for farming and people only came here like after thousands of years yes So here many Sami pe- type of people that means ethnicity of people known as the Sami live here even now the Sami take over land which is pretty big like this is the Sami nation yes so that's a lot of area yes okay so now that is for the geography and climate so now let's move on to the economy so one of the biggest sources of economy or money for this country is just guess it oil reserves so there are many oil, there are many oil reserves on the tip and what means in the easy of the country the maritime borders the maritime region which the country has hold of so this oil was used to just gain more money in the main a lot of money is earned from norway with this oil only oil is very important for norway's economy yes so very important okay so next there are many other factors like tourism and like that yes so now let's go into some main population and those people things yes so the biggest city and the capital city as i said before was oslo next the second place city is a uh, another city but it is somewhere in this region only yes so it has about 225000 people compared to the 1 million people in oslo that's a big huge difference between first and second place yes so the ca- the population of the country is about 5 4 and a half million people i mean sorry 5 and a half million people 5.5 million people and the land area is about 300000 square kilometers yes okay so that is the land area the people and stuff and also one very that means a very well known village that means if you have you could have heard it in fun facts like that there is a t- small town here known as hell hell here doesn't mean like the thing which is down the underworld it doesn't mean that it is another word in norwegian yes because norwegian is a different language it's not english it's completely a different language even though it has the similar scripts Yes. So, and last and finally for today, we are going to draw the country's flag. Yes, like usual. At the last. So now we have the square, like in all countries' flag. It's big. It's too big too. It's too rectangle like. It has a higher ratio. No. Okay. So this is the main flag thing. So first outside. it has the nordic cross 
which every nordic and scandinavian country has finland the faroe islands even being a dependency also has that flag even svalbard has that yeah ha next denmark sweden finland all these countries have the nordic cross it originated from denmark who who was the first one to use that flag and denmark's flag is also the first ever flag that means the oldest ever flag is still in use in history yes it was in use since the like 1000 yes so next there's a small gap of white yeah there's again another nordic cross in the middle after just there's a another white yes so the only main difference between iceland iceland flag and norway's flag is that iceland has blue outside and red inside yes so yeah this for today about norway bye